So um, the nominations this year are broad as they always are. Do you think it's really captured that breadth that we've got in London, musicals, revivals, Shakespeare? Yeah, there's a lot of Shakespeare, isn't there? I think it's, uh, well, it's very exciting. It always, it's fantastic. Honour to be nominated, it's my first time. And uh, I think across the board there's some uh, brilliant shows. And I've actually seen all the other performances in my category. We, not, 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 you know, not by doing homework, I just have, which is great. I feel very diligent. It was a really exciting year of theatre in the West End. So when you, when you look at that list, yeah, it's a very exciting company to be a part of. Mm -hmm. And, and the that, fact that we were on it as well. <laughs> we made an appearance. Yes, good. you've captured the bread. Yes. Thank you for putting us on it. <laughs> I'm so glad that Book of Mormon have been nominated for Lowe's because yeah. that was my favourite show of the whole year. And yeah, I'm very excited about it. And Jeeves and Worcester will, yes. will win Best New Comedy because it's really funny. Oh, and well, don't put that out yeah. there, Simon. You can't say <laughs> that. Um, it's very hard when you have to pick f four of the best of something when you've had such a, a rich field to um, pick from. Um, and it's a shame, really, because there are, um, certainly in the category I'm in, I've, you know, I've seen amazing performances this year, and of course they can't all be on the list. The, the great thing about British theatre is how diverse it is, and then you have you know, fantastic theatres like the Royal Court, which promotes new talent, where it's writing or acting, and it's, it's a privilege to be in something that has such variety, which I think really represents the audiences and what audiences want here. The lifeblood of, of, of the theatre, obviously, is, is new work. And for all, the, there's some fantastic revivals and, uh, and revisitations of, of great old plays. It's, it's always more exciting to do something new. That's what I'd like to do more, is, is to do new, new plays. Do you think that it's harder than ever for um, new works to really get that foothold and, and sort of get going in London now? Yeah, I think so. I think you know, we need more support from the Arts Council, which we don't have. And I think it's, it's crucial that we see how you know, the theatre is promoted is something that's important to our society and our culture um, and it would be fantastic if we had continued support um, more more for the the young talent coming in and emerging and I had support when I was coming out and it was it was that was you know so important for me to be able to find my footing in this industry so um, anything that I can do to support new talent I will as well it's difficult out there right and it's all about the bottom line and the dollar and that's difficult sometimes when you're in a business that's about art and expressing yourself so hopefully people will just keep making new musicals and even though some of them unfortunately don't get to run as long as people yeah. keep making them then we'll be okay as an actor and a man who also writes famously as well i mean is shakespeare the pinnacle as a performer on the stage to be honest uh, this is my first shakespeare since i was at college and uh, i approached it with some trepidation um, and I, I had a fantastic time. And I, it might seem like a cliche to say it, I'm sure it is, but, you know, he is, uh, he has been there for so much, so many uh, of, the, of the emotions you find yourself going through every day, you will find an equivalent, you know, an equivalence and a sort of an incredible line which will cover how you're feeling that day. I haven't done Shakespeare since I was at drama school. Um, it, it's it's one of the pinnacles of being an actor, especially on British stage. Um, and I'd love to play Hermione in The Winter's Tale. She's my favourite character. Yeah. A chap called Bendit Cumberbatch is apparently going to be playing a, a Hamlet. Yes, in this I'm going to tell him that play needs a lot of work. <laughs> Do something about the ending, it's too rushed, I never understand. Really no. uh, How much yes. are you looking forward to, to, to seeing that? No. Well, it's next year, so I've got a while. Yeah, very much, yes. I mean, I'm, I know he's been thinking about it for a long time. Um, since about 1605, I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it would be great, wonderful.